this is a look at my most recent grocery haul. This is Trader Joe's and Target. I didn't separate it, so I'm just going to run through everything. But pretty much anything Trader Joe's is Trader Joe's brand, so it's that simple. All right, here we go. Uh, first, I have this one of my girls requested this a dark chocolate cookie stick. Um, the brand, I think they're called Pocky, is how you say it. Um, I've got them before at like Costco and other stores have it. This is the Trader Joe's version of it. I um, also picked up my dog some dog treats, the smoked chicken tenders, and the salmon and sweet potato. I did check the ingredients for these, and what I liked about it most is it was just, look at that, deboned chicken. Single ingredient product, so that's why I got that. And this one, the ingredients are just, let's see if you can see that there, salmon and sweet potato. Easy enough. I also have some, this is the Trader Joe's version of Corn chips, roasted corn tortilla chips, chili lime. See that? These are very similar to the Takis or Taquitos, which you may have seen out. But these have tons of flavor, but they're not super spicy. So that's why my girls like those. Um, also have some strawberry jelly and some coconut oil. Um, one of my girls picked up this shave cream from, I don't know how you say it. We say Eos. I thought that could be wrong for all I know. Um, I also picked up some almond butters. I got four of those um, just to make sure we don't run out anytime soon. And I'll put a couple of those in food storage as well. Picked up a few cans of cat food. I don't know if my cat's going to like this, which is why I only got two. Hopefully she does and they won't go to waste. I also have some peaches you can see down there, along with a yellow onion, some apple juice, a big container of fresh strawberries. I have some uh, Welch's grape juice here. These are some gummies that my daughter asked me to pick up. I guess she had seen them online somewhere. The flower soft and chewy gummies from Trader Joe's, you can see. We ripped into those. Listen, they're really cute. I was not a fan of the texture. I'll show you what they look like there but they just I just can't get into it too much anyway that's those Oops, some spilled out like I said not a fan I don't even think she liked them very much but they are cute cute for summer and spring right even though we're close to fall anywho I got some avocados some plantain chips for snacking some string cheese molasses cookies you know, this is a new thing for me. As I become an adult, my palate changes, and I'm now a fan of molasses cookies for some reason. They're delicious. They're really good. I'm going to learn how to make them homemade. I'll find a good recipe, and if it's good, I'll share it with you. Um, some mushrooms. This is a good high-protein snack. This is the Chomps brand. of. Uh, this is the beef stick. They also have turkey sticks as well, but what I like about it is there's no sugar added to it and ni no nitrates or nitrites, so... That's why I like that. Um, and it's non-GMO as well. So, And this is the jalapeno one. They have a few other flavors too. So I decided to give that one a try. Good high protein snack there, like I said. And Target, I saw these cute face masks. This is the kid size. Look how cute those are. Two in a pack. I think they were $5 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Oh, $4. $4 for two masks. So I picked up those for my youngest girl. Um, the, the extra cheddar goldfish, a favorite around here for my kids. Um, some blackberries, bananas. Um, I got the, did I say cucumber? I don't know if I did or not. English cucumber. I always buy the English ones. Um, bananas. I don't know if you've seen my vlogs before, my, my grocery hauls before, but I always get some that are a little less green than the others. I like my bananas that have just a touch of green. Tomorrow morning, these will probably be perfect. Those will be good in a couple of days. Um, I don't like spotty bananas in my book. Spotty bananas are meant for banana bread and smoothies, basically. Um, I also have some carrots here, some uh, some Brazilian cheese bread. I don't know if you've ever had this before, but it's delicious and it's gluten-free. It's made with tapioca flour, and it is so good. One of our favorites. Um, haven't tried the Trader Joe's. Whoops. Haven't tried the Trader Joe's brand before, but um, we're going to give that a shot. Um, oat milk. This is new for us. My kid, one of my girls loves it. She's kind of moving away from almond milk a little bit, and we've been trying the oat milk, so she seems to like it. Seems to be a winner. Also have some um, hot dogs. This is the organic uncured beef. I'm not going to lie. My kids really don't eat these. I buy these for my dog. Yes, I'm a sucker, but he likes them, so we get them. And I try to get them decent ones. I just put the Trader Joe's back there, bag back there for a nice little background for you. 
um, some organic butter lettuce and radicchio, snack bags. Okay, this bread. This is the Ezekiel bread. This is sprouted grain bed. It is made with wheat berries, but it's flourless because they're not processed or not heavily processed anyway. So I like to get this. It's very hearty and it's filling. And if you want to look at the details of it, look at that. Hardly any fat. 0.5 grams of fat, 80 calories. I'm not a huge calorie counter. I probably should be, but I'm not. But there's that. Okay. Also have some uh, half and half, the Good and Gather brand. I like that brand. I don't know if you've seen it before, but I like it. I think it's good. Um, also, let's see if I can get the camera down here. Um, some good coffee, some organic fair trade coffee, which I love. We got some snack bags, Mexican cheese some smoked andouille sausage, um, some hummus. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't know if I said carrots or not either, but there's those. Um, one of my girls asked me to pick this up, Kung Pao Tempura Cauliflower. Um, that looked good. We'll see how that is. Lots of flavor, it seems like. Some roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. These are a pretty common staple for us. Um, kombucha. I'm not a fan, but my husband is, and one of my girls is, so I picked up some. I got a trilogy. I got a couple of strawberry lemonades, and what's this flavor? Some of the watermelon wonder. Um, it's it's become a staple in our house. They like it. We don't do a ton of like flavored drinks, so I got it. Um, I also have two containers of eggs and some butter, some green tea, and this one is new to us. This is the Trader Joe's Black Tea with Peach Juice. Um, and what I liked about that one, check this out, there's no sugar in it. I just knew there was going to be sugar in it, but I guess it's sweetened with just peach juice. So there's something else for you. There's my grocery haul. I hope you like it. Here we go with grocery haul number two. Yesterday, I did the grocery haul that you just saw and this is the following day this was everything that I was not able to find at Target and Trader Joe's now this clearly came to me delivered Amazon Prime this is one of the ways that I keep myself from having to run around to different grocery stores. I can never find everything I need at one store so the way I streamline my grocery shopping is I like to have it delivered a lot of the time. Now, I'm gonna show you what is inside of all these bags. Here we go. This is the full haul. It's not really a lot, I gotta say, so it feels a little weird calling it a haul. But again, this is from Whole Foods. I placed the order last night, probably around 11 or midnight. Uh, scheduled delivery for between 8 and 10. Uh, so it would be here early in the day and there were a few things that I didn't get that I ordered I just happened to notice but that's okay I will do one more quick quick grocery run for the week and that's when I'll pick up whatever else I wasn't able to get and the plus in this is that not only is it included in my prime membership but all I have to do is leave a tip for the driver that is included there's no um, cash exchange that happens it just gets dropped off at my door and the driver moves on and so do I and it is a lovely thing it saves me lots of time lots of energy and then when I do have to go to the grocery store again I won't have to pick up as much so it, it is a huge um, I guess hack for me for as busy as I am and everything I have to do to have it delivered so Here's what I picked up. I got some sparkling water. I did want the lime. They didn't have the lime, so I got the black cherry instead. No sugar in this, just good flavor, and this is the 365 brand. 
I did pick up some of these. This is our favorite flavor of the vitamin water. I wish they had it in a larger bottle, and I can't find the zero sugar vitamin water in this flavor in the large bottles. I'd give anything to find it. I hope they start making it because I will definitely purchase. Um, this, these are our favorite um, tortilla chips, the late July brand. I love this brand. Um, they have some little um, cheese crackers too that my kids like. Um, but anyway, that brand, I've been buying this brand for years, one of my favorites. Picked up some cilantro. I hate cilantro. I'm on team cilantro tastes like soap in my mouth, but we're gonna make some spring rolls. My husband and my daughter that will be eating the spring rolls don't mind cilantro at all, so I picked that up. Um, picked up a couple more kombuchas. I know you saw those yesterday in my haul. I thought I ordered two of these, but they only gave me one. I'll have to make sure I didn't get charged for two. But this is one of the flavors that my husband and my daughter like. I usually get, whenever I pick up kombucha, I usually get two of each flavor because so they can each have. Um, each have one of whatever flavor it is that they like. Um, and they like the same flavors for the most part, too. This trilogy is one of their favorites. So I picked up two of those. Like I said, I thought I got two of those. So I'll have to double check that. Um, I got a block of medium cheddar cheese. I got a couple of, um, these are, let's see, are they organic? They're not organic. <gasps> I thought I got organic. Fun fact, produce in the States, you see how it has, you can't really see it there, but it has this little number there produce, if it starts with the number nine, it's organic. And if it isn't, then it's not. Um, I thought I ordered organic, so I'll have to double check on that too. I do only get organic peppers because they're high on the list of uh, produce that has been sprayed heavily with pesticides. So um, that's how I choose the produce that I purchase is if it is uh, heavily pesticide laden, I get the organic. If it isn't, then I don't. These raspberries, those are definitely on uh, one of the higher uh, uh, produce items that has high pesticide use. So I always do buy organic raspberries as well. Got two of those. Um, I got one can of coconut milk. Sometimes my husband likes to put this in his coffee. Um, we use it for different desserts every now and then. Um, but I always like to have one of those on hand. Picked up some frozen mango chunks, some baba ganoush. This is really good. One of my husband's favorite healthy snacks. Basically, it's uh what's the word honey smoked smoked eggplant right mm -hmm. yeah smoked eggplant and then um some organic roasted. romaine let roasted roasted eggplant i thought it was okay well either roasted or smoked <laughs> eggplant dip but you basically it gets this really delicious smoky flavor and then you blend it all up with other spices and seasonings oh it grilled honey Grilled eggplant, tahini, which is ground up sesame seeds, garlic, sea salt, and citric acid. Super healthy snack. Um, some romaine lettuce. These are the hearts. Um, that, this is our, one of our favorites for salads. I've got some American cheese. You saw my oat milk in yesterday's haul. Well, this is oat milk creamer. Um, so there's that. And also a favorite, one of our drinks that we love is the premium ginger brew. What we love about this so much, it does pack a punch with the ginger flavor, but it also has no sugar. It's sweetened with only pineapple juice. Um, and real ginger, if you ever have a tummy ache in your family, real ginger brew or ginger beer some people call it is the way to go because it actually has ginger ginger ale that other stuff doesn't have ginger it's all fake flavor and it doesn't do anything for a tummy ache this will so there's your fast fact for the day all right there is grocery haul number two let's go to the next one and this is my last little bit of a grocery haul yes grocery haul number three it's ridiculous but it is what it is um i happen to be again at another practice for one of my daughters it's like sports practice is my life right anybody out there there also <laughs> um but where one of my girls practices is it is so easy to get to the grocery store and i kind of take advantage of it because i think oh i can run back and get that one last thing later so that's why this is a very small haul this is actually between two different grocery stores um a few days later i just happened to be in the neighborhood and dropped in um we're gonna be grilling coming up soon so i grabbed some uh Hamburger buns and hot dog buns. Oh, also, this is Harris Teeter is the one store, and then Target is the other one. I picked up these little things. I actually, my sister Tamara had these um, in her in her house, but it was like the I think the Sargento brand maybe. And I thought, well, she's my sister's 
pretty healthy gal. So I thought while she's eating those, I'm going to try it. This is the Target brand or a Target, um, a brand that I always see in Target, Good and & Gather. And their stuff has, it has yet to disappoint, I have to say. And this was, I think, probably 50 cents cheaper for the pack of three um, than the name brand. So I picked that up. Exact same stuff inside it looked like to me. Um, cheddar cheese. I wish those were unsweetened cranberries. Like to me, if you're eating, if you're trying to eat almonds and cheese like for a protein you know they're, they're putting your protein on there seven grams that's great 180 calories why are you putting sugar on my cranberries like if i'm gonna have sugar i want it to be a proper dessert anyway moving on i'm not a huge calorie counter but i've been looking at stuff lately because quarantine um <laughs> homegirl got a little thick on quarantine so i gotta check it anyway clearly that's not my priority because i brought <laughs> I got these just because we're grilling. We only holidays do we buy these chips and this dip. And that's the truth. And my husband and I actually decided we're only going to buy these if it's like a holiday or a birthday. Because all of us like this hell of a good dip. It's the French onion. Yeah. Yeah. The French onion. And we love this. Man. But we can go through it. So I just thought. That says family size. Look. I don't know what family they're talking about. <laughs> But the Frasers can crush that with another one. Anyway, so I got that and I got this because we're going to be grown for the holiday. Um, I got some turkey hot dogs and I got some cheese sticks. These, whoops, a little, little bit of fruit juice got on there. I think my raspberries leaked that I got a few days ago. Anyway, um, okay, Colby Jack Cheese. This is the Harris Teeter brand. I usually try to get like a brand that says doesn't include that R R B, you know, made from the cows without um, hormones. I don't see that on here. I give this to my dog. Yes, I do. Rocco loves Colby Jack cheese. Anyway, it's pitiful. That's his. Um, and only one every, maybe one a day or one every few days. Not, not that much. This is our favorite shredded cheese so far. I mentioned my sister. She introduced us to this, and we all love it. And because it's like thick-cut shredded cheese, and it doesn't have, um, I believe it's pronounced cellulose, which is what is put in most other shredded cheeses. Um, I think it keeps it from, like, sticking together. They don't put that in here, and this doesn't stick together, and we love it. So farm-style thick-cut. That's one of our favorite ones. We like this on our eggs or quesadillas, all that good stuff. Good cheese pronounce it Tillamook. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Tillamook, whatever. It's good. Um, okay. Yogurts. I had two yogurts, two of these. Somebody grabbed one. Um, but this is the vanilla two good yogurt. It only has two grams of sugar. And I think it's somebody ate the strawberry one that I had. I don't know if you can see or not. Um, it is sweetened with stevia yeah it says it's sweetened with stevia on there you can't see that anyway it's sweetened with stevia 80 calories and two grams of fat right that's pretty good especially when you compare let's look at what the sugar grams are the grams of sugar two grams oh it says something on there anyway there's that this is pretty decent yogurt we like it I'll grab it like if I'm running out the door. Listen, yogurt isn't one of my favorite things to eat, but I'm like this every single day between work and running kids around. Yogurt is something quick and easy that I can grab to get out the door. It has lots of protein, low sugar, and I like I like it enough that it'll do. All right, um, Chobani Greek yogurt, same concept here, less sugar. This is a strawberry brand, and that's really good. And then I picked these up at Target um, for my husband. Um, I do Anytime I get any kind of meat that is processed, like hot dogs, um, I always 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 get the kind with no nitrates and no nitrites if that's how you even say it i'm probably jacking up how you say it um but that's what i get i mean it's bad enough that it's processed so i try to get the best quality <laughs> of the processed stuff that i can find jalapeno and cheddar cheese chicken sausages i thought those looked good and here's what else i like about these look at this there they you can can you see this yeah, you can see that. They're individually packaged. Um, so if you only wanted to cook up one or you wanted to cook up a, cook up, cook up a few of them, um, you don't have to worry about them going bad quite so fast because they're individually packaged. So anyway, 
there is my last little mini grocery haul for the week. I hope you guys like that. And let me know if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you do, that'll tell the YouTube gods that, hey, we like this kind of content from Bambi. So give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know what's in your grocery haul. Anything special this week? Anything um, out of the norm? Anything that's always in your grocery haul? I have all kinds of normal stuff and all kinds of unique stuff in mind like this anytime soon. Anyway, that's it for me. You hear that? That's my dog. Bonus footage. Hi, sweet boy. Oh, hi, bubby boy. What are you doing? This is my boy. This is Rocco. Look at the happy tail. I mean. <laughs> hi, buddy. Okay. Say, give my mommy a thumbs up. You didn't hear it, but he said it. <laughs> Bye, everyone.